Hi guys, welcome to another video. This is the fourth part of Next.js 13 tutorial series. So in this part, we'll be talking about navigation and adding links. So let's move forward. So let's say that we have this main layout file and main uh, these, these kinds of all these routes as well as some private folders. So let's say that we have this header and we don't want this header. Uh, instead, we want to add some links in it okay in order to navigate to the different pages by clicking on those links i won't be creating fancy ui fancy stuff uh, it's just for functionality so let's focus on the functionality uh, for now so let's say that i want to create a link so in order to create a link we can have uh, something called a link package so in order to first import the link let's go to the top Next, yes, give us a link package. So link from next slash link. Okay. So this is the link we are using and it's giving us hrefs. Next, yes, 13 have removed the anchor tag within the link. In the previous version, we used to add uh, anchor tag as well within this link package. So here it is removed. Okay. So now href equals to slash and where we want to go. We want to go to the notes all right so link and let's go to the notes let's copy it and let's add some styles so i'm going to add some margin left margin left five pixels okay so just to make it a little bit nicer so here i want to navigate to the dashboard okay and one more link in order to navigate to any particular note this is this is the note right if you want to navigate to this so it's like the notes slash or anything we can directly add over here but I have added it just to show you how you can add it so uh, you can create this notation and here and it with this notation and then dollar sign curly braces and then you can add anything like three or any variable okay because we will be taking the uh, params from the URL in actual project so that's why I passed it over here so note three Okay, so let's save it and let's go to our browser and now you can see these are the three links added, right? If I go to the notes, we are in the notes uh, link. Let's go to the dashboard and dashboard does not have that uh, layout for the, for, the, for the notes that we have and then go to the note three and you can see that we are again in the note three. So this is how currently you can ignore like uh, the uh, it's kind of confusing that what why is it showing something like this it's not that actual project so just focus on the functionality how you can add the links right so this is how you can add links uh, the better practice is to add some uh, layout or the UI folder private folders and inside that you can create some uh, client side components and in that you can render all these links to create the links on the footer header or the sidebar so it's just to show you how to use link in order to navigate from one page to other page. Now let's see that how we can add some uh, uh, navigation using uh, the use router package. Okay, so let's say that we want to go to, uh, we have this search page, okay? Let's see if the search page, how is it looking? Okay, instead, let's go to the note page okay we are in the note page let's say from this note page we want to navigate back to the list of notes page let's say from a note page to back to the notes page so but we don't want to add the link we want to add some click event on the button okay so within the search bar let's add a button over here so button I'm going to add the type button and uh, I'm going to add an attribute on click and here I can add this arrow notation and here before doing that let me do one thing so I'm going to import 
use router from the next router okay but there is one concept that I will explain you in detail in the later videos uh, all the components that we create all the routes are by default the server components and in order to make those server components into client components we need to write use client at the top and we are writing this over here because use router is a part of the client side component because user interaction with the ui has to be the client side thing okay it doesn't have to be the server side thing so generally uh, for the for the routes that includes the data from the databases we will make those pages or the routes or the components server side but all the components that require interaction from the user it's a common practice and it's recommended to you convert those components into the client okay so inside it i'm going to use the router but search node let's create a router object and use router inside it okay and now you router dot push and here i'm going to navigate to the nodes okay nodes save go to the browser reload Okay, it's not showing currently this button so this oh, oh sorry it's the search page that I've already created okay a uh, note search next router was not mounted use mounted router so what's the issue so it's the use router within the next oh sorry it's not the next router it's the navigation next navigation so let's save it and go to this now you can see that it is showing this small button notes and let me refresh it again so if I click on this notes it's going to go to the notes page let me go to the note 3 from here uh, search page actually okay again we are showing this notes let's go to this dashboard page so over navigation and the routing is all working from this link package as well as from the buttons and we have a lot of functions inside it just like push and we uh, could have this router dot replace this is going to replace the current route we can have the forward it's going to remember the history from where it's coming from we can have the push back and the refresh and we can use these kinds of function but generally we use push over here so this is how you can add a uh, navigation from one page to other page and this is how you can navigate uh, directly within the button on click or the javascript functions we could uh, call a function in that function uh, the link does not work so we have to use this router package in order to navigate from one page to other page so that's pretty much it for this video in the next video we are going to be talking about some more on routes as well as some built-in files just like page.tsx layout.tsx there are some built-in files for error handling for showing loaders uh, for all for some kind of middlewares these are some middlewares uh, files that uh, we will be using provided by Next.js 13. So if you are liking my tutorials up till now, don't forget to subscribe my channel and try to uh, share my videos with your fellows as well. Thank you so much for watching.